But the dominant truth about the situation in Syria is that although Assad and Daesh are supposed to be bitter opponents, they are both parts of the same problem. In fact, the rise of Daesh is directly attributable to the policies and actions of the Assad regime. And that is why we have referred to Assad as a magnet for terrorism. This is a case, and there are many in history, in which two supposed enemies are in fact symbolic. Loathing towards Assad drove thousands of Syrians into the arms of Daesh. And fear of Daesh caused some Syrian groups to feel that they had no realistic option but to support the government. That's not just symbolic, that's a symbiotic relationship. Each piece depended on the other. And the desire to flee both explains the massive refugee crisis that we face today. The relationship between Assad and Daesh clarifies one of the apparent peculiarities of this conflict, that the two extremes have only rarely targeted one another. Think about that. In fact, they even do business with each other, buying and selling oil. Assad and Daesh are enemies far more in theory than in fact, and neither has shown any interest in bringing the killing to an end. If neither the dictator nor the terrorists are the answer, and they are not, our challenge is to create conditions under which a clear and broadly acceptable alternative can emerge. To that end, President Obama has set for our nation three interrelated goals. We begin with Daesh. Some 14 months ago, the President made it clear that the United States was committed to the defeat and dismantlement of this terrorist organization. And over the last month, he has directed every member of his national security team to pick up the pace and move forward with ideas for degrading and defeating Daesh more rapidly, more completely, and permanently. Second, we are intensifying our diplomatic effort to finally bring an end to the civil war in Syria. And third, we are determined to support our friends in the region and to ensure that the instability created by the Syrian crisis does not spread further beyond its borders. Now, these measures are mutually reinforcing. The more progress we make on one, the more likely we are to succeed on the others.